you know, 90% of women that go through divorce end up in poverty. And most Americans, more than 80%, don't even have $1,000 in their bank account. That means that we're living paycheck to paycheck and we're not thinking financially. And honestly, the school systems have failed us because they're no longer teaching financial literacy. And as adults, we're trying to teach our children and we're having problems. Well, guess what? The Bible has the solution to all of our issues to remove the struggle from money management. And a lot of it starts with our mindsets. So today I'm Dr. Shante Haynes and I am going to give you some affirmations that I want you to go along with. Affirmations for your financial breakthrough. That means they're crown adjusting. Yes, we start from the head first, but it's got to get into your heart so that you can walk it out victoriously. You can't do it by yourself. And so I want to make sure that you recognize what is possible. And even in that possibility, as you go through, you will recognize and you will start to think differently. Think like God thinks. Think the way he would have for you to believe. And John, the 10th chapter and the 10th verse, he said he didn't come to destroy. You know, the thief comes but to still kill and destroy. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly, that you would enjoy life and that you would have the abundance while you're here yet on this earth. Wealth is available to you. Prosperity, let me just be clear, is not just riches, but it does include riches. It does include an abundant life. It includes peace and prosperity. It includes a great journey. Prosperity is so much more than what others are out there proclaiming, name it and claim it. And that's not what we're doing. When we're doing these affirmations, they're really confessions. I'm confessing what God's word says. And we know that his word says that it will not return void, but it will accomplish everything that he sent it out to do. So let's jump in today with the crown adjusting affirmations for financial breakthrough. Crown adjusting affirmations for financial breakthrough. I am a child of God. All promises in the Bible are available to me. I claim them now. I have what I need. God provides for me. Philippians, the fourth chapter in the 19th verse. I have the power to get well. God gave it and I use it. Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter in the 18th verse. I have an abundant life. Jesus paid for it. John, the 10th chapter in the 10th verse. God sends wealth my way. I answer. 1 Samuel, the second chapter in the seventh verse. I have wisdom and wealth that exceeds my expectations. 1 Kings, the 10th chapter in the seventh verse. I have wealth and honor. God strengthens me. 1 Chronicles, the 29th chapter in the 12th verse. Men and women of wealth seek my favor and I am compensated. The 45th Psalm, verse 12. Wealth and riches are in my house, the 112th Psalm, verse 3. I honor God with my wealth, and he honors me, Proverbs, the third chapter and the ninth verse. I have enduring wealth and prosperity, Proverbs, the eighth chapter and the 18th verse. I bestow wealth on those who love me, Proverbs, the eighth chapter and the 21st verse. I am diligent to work with my hands and I get wealth. Proverbs, the 10th chapter and the fourth verse. The blessings of the Lord brings wealth. I am blessed. Proverbs, the 10th chapter and the 22nd verse. A good man or woman leaves an inheritance for their children's children. I leave an inheritance. Proverbs, the 13th chapter and the 22nd verse. I am crowned with wealth. Proverbs, the 14th chapter and the 24th verse. God gives me wisdom, knowledge, and happiness. I walk in all three. Ecclesiastes, the second chapter and the 26th verse. 
I am gifted by God to enjoy wealth and possessions. Ecclesiastes, the fifth chapter and the 19th verse. I have peace and wealth, thanks to God. Isaiah, the 66th chapter and the 12th verse. By wisdom and understanding, I gain wealth. Ezekiel, the 28th chapter and the 4th verse. My wealth is a resource for gaining connections and skills. Luke, the 16th chapter and the 9th verse. I am trustworthy in handling wealth and the true riches. Luke, the 16th chapter and the 11th verse. My hope is not in uncertain wealth. My hope is in the Lord. 1 Timothy, the 6th chapter and the 17th verse. I am intentional about eliminating debt from my life. I make wise financial decisions. I am a saver. I prepare for my future. I repay my debts on time every time. I am a good steward. I acknowledge God and follow his principles. I am a child of God, protected, provided for, and prosperous. My God supplies all my needs and I am blessed to be a blessing. Philippians, the fourth chapter, the 19th verse, and Genesis, the 12th chapter, and the second verse. Whether abased or abounding, I trust God, and I can do all things through Christ. Philippians, the fourth chapter, the 12th and the 13th verse. Well, welcome back. Ending with the fact that whether or not we are abased or bound, whether we are in lack or we're in plenty, that God's got a word for each and every one of us. And his desire is for us to live an abundant life. That desire is not just going to come because we say it. We don't just name it and claim it. We don't just turn around seven times and we're out of financial debt. No, we took time to get into it. And we're going to be intentional about getting out. We want to save not only for emergencies for today, but for our retirement and for our legacy for tomorrow. That means that we've got to put the principles of God, the biblical principles into practice. So I want to offer you an opportunity today to actually get it right, to put feet to your faith, to see the differences in your life, not to just wish for a better financial outlook and to get your financial house in order, but to actually have the blueprint to get there step-by-step to do it. Now, I will tell you that I've worked with people one-on-one, that it does cost a lot when you want to work one-on-one with someone to get your financial house in order. But if you are the type of person that can do most of it yourself, as long as you have the instruction, well, I've got a course for you. That's the Kingdom Financial Success course. And I'm going to put the link down below so that you can go ahead and get there. If you go to my website, shantahaines.com forward slash courses, you will see several courses there on finance that you can do. I'm going to encourage you to get the Kingdom Financial Success online course. The reason I'm starting there is because I know it goes from banking all the way through net worth. And I want to make sure that you are adequately set. That means that you are going to not only have your financial house in order, but you'll be able to teach your children as well. And those that you really care about, those that are around you in your community. If you change, your family changes. Not only your family, but the community, and then ultimately the world at large. I want you to be that light in the dark world. So let's go ahead today, go to my website, and get into that course. And I know you're going to see some financial breakthrough. Let's go ahead and bow and seal the deal with a prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father God, your word tells us 
Oh, so often, God, and we're so grateful for your word and for the principles that you've laid out. Unfortunately, sometimes, Lord, we haven't even known the principles were there. We haven't found them, but you have opened our eyes of understanding today. You've opened our heart to receive and you're opening our, our beings to actually want to walk it out. You've illuminated it in our hearts. What your word says about each and every one of us, what your word says about what we can have and what we should have and what you died for us to have. God, you paid it all. So today we're asking for a clean slate. We're asking for a clean mind and that as we put those affirmations, those confessions in our mind of what you promised us, help us to grasp hold of each and every promise, not hustling to make it work, but intentionally doing what your word tells us to do. So Lord, today we're just asking that we ingest your word, that we believe your word and we ask that you help our unbelief, the pieces and the parts that we haven't yet fully trusted you, God, we yield today. We submit today. We submit our checkbook. We submit our income. We submit our debts. We submit our savings. We submit our outlook. We submit our thought processes to you. Help us to break up with being broke. <laughs> Yeah, let us get our mindset right and, and deal with the environments that we are around, the, the things, that, the negative thought processes that have been ingrained in our lives, the things that have been taught to us that were not biblically based. Lord, we want to remove all of those. And then we want to operate uniquely the way you have created us to recognize what is there and what we need to change and how we need to change it. God, we need to get on the right path with you. Help us to find the right partners in banking. Help us to make sure that we come out of debt and have a strategy in order to get there. Help us, oh Lord, to have an also strategy, an awesome one that is going to help us not only save for ourselves, but also invest in the kingdom. Help us to invest appropriately, Lord. God, we're asking for guidance. For those of us that are in debt trying to get out, God, we ask that you bless the, the works of our hands, the things that we do and how we spend appropriately. God, we ask Holy Spirit to convict us when we're not doing something that is financially stable or secure or the right thing that we need to do. For those of us that are already on the other side, saving and investing, and we want to then pour back into others, and we want to actually have more in so that we can do more good. God, you said those that are rich in this world, you charge us to communicate with others. And that's, that's not speaking, but we want to speak too, but we want to be able to plant it in good soil. Show us those places as well. God, whether we're abasing or abounding, we give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory because we know that it's all because of you. You are the one that gives us the power to get wealth, and you are the one that gives us the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding to continue to get there and to continue to hold on to what we have and planted and invested where you so see fit. So speak to us in that vein. We're going to thank you in advance. We're going to bless you always. For truly it is in Jesus' name that we do pray and give you thanks. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless each and every one of you. Again, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes, and I've got many affirmations or confessions that are out here on YouTube. There's also much teaching that is available, not only in the finance, but if you're looking for a spiritual word that you need, go to my website as well. But I want you to go ahead and subscribe, like, and share to this channel so that you will hear the new teachings and share it with someone because we are better together. Let's continue to let our lights shine, not just as a flashlight, but let's be a floodlight for others to want to come on in. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I thank you for listening, but I want you to put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. That means that you're not just going to be a hearer of the word, but you're going to be a doer also. I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries. And like I said, I'm helping you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your week. God bless.